Liam, dude, great job. Honestly, that is an awesome reel. Uh, I don't want you to take this the wrong way. Um, if this is something you want to do, you still got a long way to go. That's okay. I still got a long way to go. But I just want to point out one thing, one little critique that I think is going to make your punches look a lot better. Okay. Uh, so what I did notice was when you're throwing those punches, you're hooking your punch. You're keeping your arm. You're not extending your arm, but you're keeping it relatively bent and you're bringing it this way. So you're kind of punching, which you don't really want to do that. Sometimes you have to do that, but it's a good habit to kind of break and only do if you have to do. So what I want you to work on is think of a sliding glass door and you're going to reach back. You're going to grab the handle of that sliding glass door and you're going to bring this door along a straight line and then to, or to keep my face on camera here for you, bring that door in a straight line and you're going to bring it all the way to a stop. All right. So you're going to reach back, grab the handle. Boom. And a good way to practice this is get alongside of a wall and keep that arm going in a straight line back and forth. Now, part two of that, when you get to the last quarter of your punch, snap it. Uh, uh, you're, you're about anywhere from a quarter to a third of the punch. And you're gonna go for a certain speed and then you're gonna pop it. And when you pop it, you know, throw your shoulder forward a little bit to give that extra body movement. <clears throat> Part three, uh, when you're at the full extension, drop it, let it fall away. So a full punch should look at like this. Reach back, grab the handle, Punch, let it fall away. Punch, let it fall away. This is full speed here. All right? Otherwise, honestly, dude, great reel. Great reel. Uh, I'm super impressed with what you've done. Uh, I wish you all the best if this is something you want to do. I miss you guys. I hope you guys are having fun back in California, staying safe. And I hope you all are enjoying the new Waterworld cast. Uh, again, I miss you guys. Great reel. Talk to you later, buddy. All right. So your mom asked a really good question. I think I have a little bit more time than what Facebook allows me. So I'm going to go a bit more in depth into this. Uh, your mom asked, how can you make sure that you're not going to hit somebody if you don't hook the punch? Well, the, the, it, it, it's, it's a funny thing because if you start getting closer and you're hooking a punch, now you're running the risk of knocking them with an elbow. That's why we really don't want to hook a punch. We want to throw that straight line punch. Uh, if you get closer, you do, a, you, you do a cross. Instead of doing this, you're still grabbing the, the door handle. You're bringing it across this way. So I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm still maintaining a distance from my partner, but I'm not giving them an extra thing to worry about with my elbow coming at them. That's a really good way to split open an, uh, an eyebrow, a, a bust nose. So there's three things that we do. One, we're, when we're fighting in front of an audience, in front of a camera, we're essentially in a two dimensional space, uh, two dimensional space. We can cheat things. That's what it's called. We're cheating. So. As it stands right now, I can touch my light switch. You can see that I'm touching my light switch. Now I'm not touching my light switch, but it looks like I could be touching my light switch from the perspective of the camera. I'm actually about a foot away from touching my light switch. It's back there. But because I'm keeping everything in line, it looks like I could be doing it. That's what we're doing in that two dimensional space. We're spacing out each from each other so that we're not actually gonna be able to hit something, but it's gonna look like we can. How do we get that spacing? With your person, with your partner standing in front of you, put your hand out with your fingertips extended and you wanna barely just be able to, to, to brush them. You know, br you know be, be able to touch where your partner is. From here, both of you to start off with, take a half step back. Now you should be about a foot away from each other. Well, a foot away from each other seems like a long distance, 
But again, we're talking about where the camera is, you know, here. So for example, if a person is here, and this is gonna be a little awkward, but if the person is standing here and I throw a punch, yeah, it's gonna miss. You're gonna see that it's gonna miss. But if I move it here, it looks like I can punch it. Nothing has changed. I still have that distance, but because I changed that angle, I can sell that punch. Uh, third thing is offset. So you're probably lining up with your partner nose to nose. You don't want to do that. You want to line up with your nose, even with their shoulder, right? Right at the edge of their shoulder. And where I'm punching in that space is think of a box that's coming out from their ear and then down to their shoulder. So it should be right here. You know, there's the square right there. So I'm aiming right at this point right here. Now, if I aim right at this point, that's gonna give me a good black eye. That's gonna give me a good nose break in general for that hit, you know, right, right there. So it should be right about here. I don't know how that looks because I can't see, but I think you get the picture. So, uh, 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 but that's where we're aiming. And again, as you get better with all of this, you can move closer to your partner and you can get much closer. Hits are gonna happen. It's inevitable. Somebody's gonna mess up. But what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that it's gonna be as safe as possible. Uh, the last thing, just and this is just kind of something that I do, don't have a solid fist. I know you want to have a solid fist when you punch. Um, my my example I use is Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee was like, stay loose through everything up until the last second. Uh, well, you want to do the same thing, but then you want to stay loose through that last second before a stunt fight. So the way I, I think of this is holding on to a roll of quarters, like roll of quarters, but it's in my it's in my face in my hand, so it's just a a space, right? So now if I hit something, my hand is going to collapse just a little bit. And hopefully, if I do make contact, I'll be able to stop it, you know, as soon as my as soon as my hand starts to collapse, I'll be able to stop it or move or get get my hand away from the person before I actually cause any damage. If you have a solid fist, it's, you know, it's a brick wall hitting your face. There's nothing going to going to stop it. As soon as you start to feel it, it's almost already too late. But if you have that little bit of air cushion in there, you can actually stop it. So just a quick little recap. Again, uh, know where your audience is, know where the camera is to figure out the spacing again, right? And to get that spacing, you have uh, uh, your partner in front of you, stand with your hand out, move half step back, both of you, but a foot away from each other. So then you can start working on the fight. Always do the fight at a quarter speed. Also, when you're starting a fight, work on it at a quarter speed so you can get the distance. You can work on how it's going to hit, how everything's going to do when you have someone filming you. It'll, it'll, it'll go miles to help you improve on all of this. Uh, and then the third, offset. You know, depending on which side you're going to be punching to, offset. Um, so I think that pretty much covers everything. Uh, if you have any more questions, please let me know. I'm more than happy to help you out uh, with, with anything and everything that I know how to do. Uh, if not, and then I'll tell you I don't know how to do it. But uh, again, I miss you guys. Uh, I hope this helps you with your punches. I hope you're having fun at camp. I think, I think mom said you're at camp right now. Uh, or I guess we'll see this when you get back from camp. But anyway, enjoy the video. I hope you enjoyed the video.